Hi guys and welcome back to PGL Tavern Tales Spring Season. My name is Nimsh. I'm here with Raven and Lothar. And I did promise you more Hearthstone, but I lied. Uh, we actually don't have more Hearthstone for you today. But what we do have is the top 16. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be really good. I'm quite excited because obviously we've been casting, so we didn't get a chance to see you know all the games going yeah. on uh, while, we, while we've been working. So, uh, And here it is. There we go. So that's the top 16. And they, just to take a note straight away, although you probably want to talk about this more, Lothar, but the clear standout of Tice going 5-0. Someone did it. Yeah, you know, I don't have to talk about <laughs> it. Yeah. It's just usual stuff for Tice. Right? Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> well, it just says anything, uh, everything about Tice. Like, Tice is super consistent. He did qualify, and then here he just goes with 5-0. But there is Lothar's curse. Wait, what? Lothar's cares. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, that will not apply tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> that will not apply tomorrow. Yeah, in uh, before Tice out round one. Like, if somebody joined us before, uh, after Lothar actually uh, cast the curse, basically the player who goes 5 0 loses his first match. Uh, but we'll see if that applies or not. Uh, big congratulations to the whole top 16 Gianni Druid, Vince, Moody, Tessin, Athanas, Crane, Powder, Game King, Scruffy, Arne, Unit, Kenny. Tracky style, freaky, and like a bow. So all the free twos made it, and all the others with two wins uh, didn't. Uh, most notably, Gara didn't make it with a uh, 1 4 score. Gosu and Tars. And yeah. Tars. And the Fisher. Yeah. Gosu Forever as well, uh, the winner of the um, Fireside Gatherings. So we have a really good top eight, uh, top 16 actually, and uh, those, those guys are in the money already. So they guaranteed themselves $500. They don't get any. Uh, HCL points yet. Yeah, they HCT. need to win one more, one more game to get to get two points already yeah. for the top eight, and they are uh, then ranking up for every single game afterwards. So the first place, it's 8k dollars and 15 points, and that's quite a lot. We talk about it like 15 points. That's huge. Basically, yeah. gets you in into the spring, uh, spring championships, yeah. right? So cool stuff. Yeah, absolutely, it's great, and uh, also just playing and testing yourself versus those specific players. Uh, we are probably going to have a couple more tournaments before the rotation, but I just I just want to say like sometimes it might be for some of those guys this might be the last tournament before the rotation. It's like saying goodbye to all those amazing cars like Doctor Boom and Pilot the Shredder. Oh, he'll get <laughs> reprinted <laughs> in basic. I'm sure of that. The reprinted, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that would be a reprint and basic Doctor Boom. Oh basic no. Doctor Boom. Death Spider's back. <laughs> suddenly. Like Is that they get rounded? Like they just reprint everything yeah, into the the basic. Yeah, will be moved. To <laughs> basic. And that's about it. And then Pile to Shredder, Dr. Boom will be also moved to All basic. All those brilliant cards. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how it will, Good how times. It will look. Good times. You just have to defeat uh, Warlock to get uh, to unlock a card that you really want. <laughs> Pink Implosion. All right, guys. This is the moment. We actually have the bracket for you. So let's see who are we going to watch tomorrow uh, and who are they going to play against. Because those guys are matched against e each other for tomorrow. The first place versus the 16th place. The second place versus the 15th place. Yeah, so Ties will be playing against like a boss. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. All right. So the first match for tomorrow, I believe, I'm not sh exactly sure if we'll go one by one here, uh, just uh, showing them them all. But definitely. All right. In order, they will. We will actually show them in order. So Ties versus like a boss. Potter versus Game King. Moody versus Kenny. Union versus Tessin. Janet Druid versus Freaky. Scruffy Crane. Vince Chucky Style and Arne versus. Thanos. So we haven't seen some of those players uh, today. A lot of, actually. A lot of them, they, w they were not streamed. Basically, we had only only like seven matches streamed today. Some of them weren't even whole matches yeah. because they were like filling in for the games that were too fast. Yeah. So we'll see a lot of new decks. Tomorrow. Oh, by the way, they c all of the players can change their decks for tomorrow. Oh, that's really important. But we say uh, still play in the same format, which is the yes. best of five last hero standing. And changing the decks, uh, Raven, what do you think about that? Like some of them will probably pick what they, what they like. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a tough one because you've got to think that th this Swiss stage was a massive important uh, part of this tournament for them. Mm -hmm. And you'd think like, yeah, I'm going to take the best decks. You know, like I'm taking my favorite decks, decks to do best in. So I think we'll probably see a lot of players not change too much. Maybe, uh, you know, a few cards in the list or something like that or slight altercations. I'd be surprised if anyone brought a completely new lineup, mm -hmm. especially the guys who brought like Druid Warlock Warrior or Druid Warlock Paladin because if you change your whole lineup, suddenly the uh, lineup doesn't look that threatening anymore. 
But but yeah, um, I hope if, from what I've heard earlier uh, from some of the stories about the games that have been played off stream, I hope at least a few of these guys keep at least a few of the decks because I've been told that there's some uh, funky stuff been going on today. So I think there are two ways uh, to approach this, this top 16 when you prepare your lineup. Uh, one thing is that some of your decks are known if you were streamed. Um, and uh, th th those guys are winners. Like They actually uh, won 3-2 to two at least in the tournament. So it will be really tempting to bring the same lineup because mm -hmm. it was successful. Why change exactly, it now? Yeah. But yeah. on the other hand, you know who are you, fa you, you are facing. So if you watched your opponent playing a specific lineup or if you feel like they're uh, falling to patterns, like this guy is an aggro player, this guy is a control player, then maybe it will be worth for you to change your lineup to win it and get to top eight at least, to, to, to try to ensure the top eight spot for the eight CD points and for more money. Yeah, I mean, yeah. personally, I think that's a trap people can fall into as well. If we saw like Tice is 5 0, so he's going to bring these three decks. So then, if he's, you know, if he's my first match, then maybe I should bring decks that counter those. But then, if he doesn't bring those decks, then <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, the, yeah. there's a lot of sort of mind games. You can almost mind game yourself out of it. I think I'm a, more of a fan of bringing a lineup you like. Uh, and you think it's good, and then that's it. You know, don't try and do too much. Because then if you win, like, say, versus Tice in the first game, well, you've got someone else the next game, and then suddenly you're like, oh, okay, well, these decks are built to win my first round. Yeah. Might not do well for the rest of the tournament. That's true. Uh, I'd like the approach to, like, you know, to be countering someone specifically, because that can bite you back just the round yeah. after. That's it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we are uh, almost done with everything today, but uh, before we finish, uh, what are your highlights of the day, Lothar? I think the highlight is just that um, Ties won 5-0 because that shows consistency and everyone is kind of like belittling Hearthstone when it comes to consistency, when it comes to pro players because, well, we had that incident uh, with pro players during uh, European preliminaries, right? That they didn't go through to the final top eight and everyone was flaming them hard for maybe not being over, um, uh, sorry, uh, un uh, overrated, right? Uh, but I think it's just not the case. Harson is about variance. Harson is about consistency, and Tyze is one of the players that actually shows how. <coughs> sorry, uh, actually shows how it works. All right, Raven. Yeah, I mean the, the same on the Tyze part. Seeing anyone go 5-0 in Swiss is awesome, and I think the main thing for me is actually just Swiss in general. Like seeing any tournament, we've seen it at events like DreamHack and things like that. Like r running the Swiss style is so good. And I think I don't really think there's any players that dislike that at all. So just get all seeing all the players play so many matches, and then even just getting them to you know hang out afterwards and discuss everything is pretty cool. All right, and for me the highlight is actually the location of the team and all the players and you you guys watching uh, because everybody is having a lot of fun here. The atmosphere is great. People are discussing decks, uh, telling the stories. Hey, like, I top decked that card and I won. Or like, oh, he had this lineup and I was uh, totally weak against it. So all the stories, all the fun stuff and um, everything here in Romania Bucharest. But uh, I think that will be it from us uh, for today. Tomorrow we'll sta start at the same time, which is 10.30 CET with uh, day two. And then from the day two, we'll advance to day three. It's three days of Hearthstone as it's just starting. But for today, this is over. So from me, from Lothar, from Raven, thank you so much for watching and see you guys tomorrow.